Hey everybody, my name is Mayank and in this video, I'll show you how to use the module company domain to company LinkedIn profile finder. So once you log into the platform and you come to the dashboard, uh, from here, we, we go to the enrich section from the left sidebar. And uh, in this, we'll find the module company domain to company LinkedIn profile finder. Uh, we'll click on use this module button. And uh, now we'll give this a name. So let's say I'm checking the company domain to link profile finder. Uh, now, next you need to connect the LinkedIn account. So all modules that work with on top of LinkedIn inside Dataformer require you to connect a LinkedIn account. I have made a specific video detailing the process of adding your LinkedIn account to Dataformer. So I'll suggest you go and watch that in case you don't know how this works. So for now, uh, we'll select my LinkedIn account. Next, you need to give an input. In, in the form of a Google Sheet URL. So, you know, we'll go to, we'll create a new Google Sheet. And uh, so I've made a test sheet here and I've put all the domains, the company domains for which I want, uh, you know, the, their LinkedIn profile URL. So this comes handy uh, in your ABM process. So let's say you're doing account-based marketing or account-based prospecting and you have a bunch of companies you want to go after and you have their company websites, but you don't have their LinkedIn accounts. Uh, so this is the module to be to be use, you know, to get the LinkedIn profiles. So you create a similar Google Sheet and put all the domains in this in the in one column and that, give that column a header. Next, you know, next we'll just cop share the sheet and uh, let me change the configuration from restricted to anyone with the link can use this this sheet. So let's copy this link, go back to the setup form and paste this link here. Next, we need to specify the header. So in our case, we put domains as the header. So we'll copy and paste that. Uh, and next you need to specify the number of rows this module need to you know use for this process. So I currently have 44 companies so for the demonstration purpose in this video, I'm just going to use the first 10 rows. Uh, so let me put the value as 10. And next, this will, you know, email me once the module has finished. So this is the default address, email address that is, you know, attached to my account. If you want uh, updates on a different email address, you can put that email address here. Next, we'll click on create module. Now, once you're on the screen, uh, we'll click on run. And once you click on run, you'll see uh, logs getting, you know, populated here, uh, which are signifying that, you know, the module has started working. It has fetched the data from, from the first 10 rows in this sheet. And it's now actually, you know, finding the LinkedIn com company's LinkedIn URL for all these 10 companies. Uh, once the, it completes the row 10, which would be a last in our case, now you'll refresh the page and you'll find your result of csv under this button so we'll click on resu download result and click on save let me just upload this result here so let's create a new tab uh, import upload let's upload the csv here we'll click on append to current sheet and import data there you have it. So for the first 10 companies, we have their uh, company's LinkedIn profile, which is a name based company LinkedIn URL. We also have the company's, you know, ID based LinkedIn URL. And we also have the corresponding sales navigator URL. So if you use LinkedIn sales navigator for prospecting, you get these companies sales nav URLs right from here. And if you use LinkedIn for prospecting, you can use these URLs. So this is how the process works. If you have any questions, you know, reach us out to at support at the and we'll help you out. Thank you.